Darling, have you ever had a terrible wardrobe malfunction? You must have had. Oh, so many. Okay, tell me the worst. So many. Or a couple. I think the worst one was probably when I was eight months pregnant. Okay, <laughs> that's start, not a good starting point, yeah. At BAFTA. Okay. And um, it was, uh, it was, it's got a so spike is seven, so it'll be seven years ago. And I was getting ready, put this dress on, and uh, as I was getting ready, it ripped. And thankfully, we were at the Royal Opera House, and the seamstress who basically lives there in her little seamstress cupboard, um, someone ran and got her, and she came up, and she sewed me into my dress, basically. Oh my um, but for those, like, 20 minutes... I felt like my world had caved in and it was obviously heightened by the fact that I was very hormonal and yeah. and whatnot. But I just, I, I just kind of almost like fell to my knees sobbing when I kind of, when this dress, <laughs> when this, and it was so, the noise just felt like it reverberated around the room, you know, that kind of almost like a cartoon sound of a rip. And it was like, no. And I just thought, that's it, I can't, I can't do it, I can't, you know, and it was, oh, it was, it was horrendous for about 20 minutes. And then, and bless my, my friend Amanda, who was doing my makeup and she just kind of like knew exactly how to try and calm me down. And, and she read the situation, she's a mum herself and stuff and just sort of tried to, you know, almost like fan me down about it a bit. But, oh, it was terrifying and it was horrible and it made me, it just made me feel like crap. Because I'd obviously got bigger since the last fit in, and we hadn't, we obviously hadn't taken in consideration that I was going to get even bigger. Um, and you know, and I just wanted to feel special. I wanted to look great. One bend down to the shoe, and the dress literally fell apart. But do you find that wearing something that you feel amazing in affects your um, affects your performance, for want of a better word? Absolutely. Not just what I'm wearing, but like I was just mentioned my friend Amanda and she is, um, I've worked with Amanda on and off for years. And, you know, it's, it's you know, I, I don't, I'm not in the position where I can kind of have a makeup artist on standby all the time. Mm. So I have a lovely little pool of people that I use because some of them are off doing other things and stuff. And Amanda's one of them. And she's brilliant. Amanda Grossman. And she, um, she for the last couple of years has been um, making her own uh perfume oil mm -hmm. and so every time she I work with her she she you can smell her before she comes in the room because she's got this stuff on and so I always ask her to kind of you know put it on my temples and my wrists and she'll put a bit in my hair and stuff as well and I a combination of like wearing heels and being in something that I feel powerful in and this smell like I feel like I'm levitating mm. it's extraordinary and it's extraordinary how this smell just gives me this kind of gives me this sort of strength and confidence. But I do think that finding something that you are comfortable in, I mean, pardon, excuse me for a swing, but gives a fuck what anyone else says about it. It's if you, you know, you kind of get all these, that's why I kind of, all those sort of like, what were they thinking oh, pages and stuff? And it's like, well, they were probably thinking at the time that they feel brilliant yeah. and they feel really great. And they, you know, they, I mean, who goes into their wardrobe and puts something on and picks it? And because thinks, it's hideous, well, yeah. To... Exactly. I want to look hideous tonight. I, yeah, I, I, I yeah. am going to wear that because I want to be in the worst way yeah. page on a magazine. It's like, yeah, I think that there's nothing better than finding the things that make you feel good about yourself. And who cares if you wear them five times as mm. well?